some time ago, a steamer with a number of gold miners on board was seen approaching San Francisco. The voyage had been delightful, and all were in high glee at the near prospect of home. Suddenly, a fierce day drove the vessel onto a rock, and the captain announced that the ship was sinking while he spoke. On the deck, a sunburnt miner was buckling round his waist with golden savings. When a little lassie of seven summers came along, and looking up into his face, asked the question, Please, sir, can you swim? Yes, said the miner, I reckon so. Then please, sir, ask the child with cheerful eyes, Will you save me? Quick as thought, the miner saw that he could not save the child and his money as well, but he soon decided, and overboard went the gold. Creep up, my darling, put your arms round me neck, tight, and the next moment he was grabbing the little lake where a few seconds before he had been fastening the gold. Then plunging into the billow, he swam and swam until a big wave landed him on the shore. They bore him to a cottage, and opening his eyes, he asked, Where am I? When the same little form, creeping up his bosom, kissed him on both feet, and said, Please, sir, I'm so glad you saved me. All around you, on the waste waters of life, in their poverty, miseries, and sins, the people are thinking, Will you help them? Give me the money, pride, or self Far the way overboard with it. Put your trust in God, throw your arms round the perishing, and swim and swim until by and by, when the kindly hand of death lands you on the golden shore, the spirit whom you are saved shall bear you away on their snowy wings to the feet of your Lord, and say, This is the man, this is the woman who saves me.